Hey everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. As you can see, I am out here uh, in the diamond search area. Been moving a little bit of equipment around today, so I've got about two hours. It is exactly two o'clock right now. I'm gonna see if there is uh, enough time for me to get a full five gallon bucket of washed gravel to carry out in this two hours. So my plan is, you can see the wash station right there behind me, that's the North Wash Station. I'm gonna go get a handful of buckets and my screen sets. I've got a larger set of screens. I'm gonna try and get uh, one five gallon bucket to carry out within two hours. So I think the key to this is gonna be, I need a lot of volume of material that's easy to wash. So I've already picked something out and I'm gonna take you over here and show you what I'm gonna try and run. Should be a quick and easy five gallons to get together. All right, so if you have uh, studied up on uh, the Crater of Diamonds very much, like looked at the popular Facebook page and stuff like that, a lot of people talk about the East Drain. Um, this is a really popular place. A lot of people, you know, this whole area behind me right there, this is looking south. Uh, this is known as the East Drain area. So what I'm going to do, let me spin the camera around. This little ditch that goes right through here, you can see that's real sandy and loose. I'm going to bucket up just as much of that as I can real fast. And I'm not too far from the wash station. Now it is, uh, temperatures in the mid nineties today, so it's a little bit hot, but, uh, and we'll try and tough it out, take my time. Well, not really take my time, but just do my best not to get overheated. And I'm gonna bucket a bunch of this stuff up, see if I can just get it through a set of screens. I'm not gonna classify, classify by one eighth. I'm just gonna put it through a quarter inch directly into my fine screen. And uh, there should be some good gravel mixed in with this. I'm just gonna see if I can get, uh, see how much of this stuff I can get washed and ready to carry out. All right, so I'm going to start right here. I'm just going to start bucketing up some of this uh, gravel that's laying down the bottom here. Just try and get everything I can. All right, so just to give you a little bit of idea what I'm digging up out of here, I'm not really getting into the lamp right. I'm just kind of digging the gravel up. You can see that right there. That should be pretty good stuff. Easy to wash. All right, so uh, got my first four buckets right there behind me. It only took me about 15 minutes. I'm gonna get them over the wash station, start washing. All right, you can see this stuff is just super sandy. Lots of gravel in it, but best thing is that that's a whole five gallon bucket dumped into them screens. I've already worked just a little bit of it through. You can kind of work it through that top, squint, top screen in just a couple of minutes. And then we'll see what's left in that bottom screen. Like I said, I'm not going to center anything today. Uh, just basically going to wash, get some clean gravel to take home. I can center it back at camp or something like that. Uh, anyhow, I'll get this knocked through and I'll check back with you guys. All right, so there's my top screen. Still want to go through all this real quick. Make sure that big one's not in there. If you find one in your top screen, you can pretty well call it a day. This is everything that's greater than one quarter inch. So that top screen is a quarter inch. So our bottom screen looks about like that. It's quite a bit of gravel, still gotta wash it just a little bit. A lot of sand in there, but that's almost, uh, almost ready to just throw in a bucket and carry out. You can see that's a lot of gravel. So it's only gonna take a few of these to fill a five gallon bucket. 
but I'll go ahead and get all that last bit of sand out of that. This is my bottom screen, so that's my 16 mesh. So I'll get all that sand out of there and it goes in the bucket. I'm not even going to, like I said, I'm not going to try and center anything today. Uh, it's probably getting close to 3 o'clock, so got to hurry. All right, so first screens, and I've probably got a third of a bucket right there. So pretty good, uh, pretty good bit of gravel in these. I may have to uh, try and find a way to center one of them down because if I get a third of a bucket per five gallon bucket, then I've got four buckets that doesn't add up. So I may have to concentrate some of it down a little bit, but I think with four buckets, I'm going to have time. So that's two buckets worth right there. It's going to be bucket number three, and I think it's probably going to top that off. So uh, I'm going to find a way to classify these down just a little bit to get it all fit. But it's only been about an hour. You can see the benefit of finding gravel that's already concentrated is that you get a lot more bang for your bucket. Look through there, I've already kind of worked some of that down to the bottom. It's really hard to really hard to get any kind of center with a big screen set like this, but uh, I think I'm gonna try and figure it out. So that is three of my buckets of material and you can see I'm right up to the top. So, I mean, that's plenty to bring out. I didn't really classify it down any. I'm gonna go ahead and wash that fourth bucket just to show you guys, because I always carry buckets in twos. Uh, it's a lot easier to carry two buckets than it is one bucket. So uh, by carrying them in twos, you make it a lot easier. Um, just to see how much gravel I could have gotten within a little over an hour. I'll go ahead and wash that and stick it in another bucket, show you guys how much it turned out to be. So that right there is four buckets from the east drain. Pretty good gravel. Not concentrated any at all. It's just washed. Um, didn't make centers and pull centers out of it. So I'll have to uh, concentrate that down a little bit or leave some of it behind or something. Maybe I can shake that bucket down a little bit more and get more of that in there. But uh, one way or the other, four buckets of material out of that east drain so if you're coming out here getting a late start that's an easy way to do it right there and that's from the east drain right over there just this side of that yellow shovel if you can see that yellow or that uh, metal shovel right over there so you can see my uh, two buckets right there so uh, my theory was since I already had a bucket and a third out of four buckets I got two more buckets to make it six buckets total that I've ran that gave me two buckets of gravel so if one person can only carry out one five gallon bucket a day but I'm going to be here tomorrow not quite sure what I'm going to do uh, may just look around find some more material to run but I know that tomorrow if I want to carry one of these buckets out and I don't have anything else to carry out I've got it so I may just uh, classify it concentrate it a little bit I'm not sure so uh, I'll uh, definitely carry one of them out today so there you have it two hours i've got some gravel to carry out it's not been concentrated but you know i can do that real good material washed really fast so uh i might take this back to camp saruka and if i can get that done today then i'll try and get some video of it so uh appreciate y'all watching and uh hope you enjoyed the video hope all these videos help